The Knicks just made a great move signing Mario Hazonia. Let's talk five reasons he's a perfect fit for the New York Knicks. In three, two, one. Shrewd, shrewd, very shrewd move by Scott Perry, Steve Mills, and the New York Knicks. Super Mario, one year, 6.5 million. He fits right in with the Fizz Kids. So let's jump into these reasons on why he fits so perfectly and he will be a success with the New York Knicks. One, he's 23 years old, born February 25th, 1995. Drafted in 2015 with the fifth pick by the Orlando Magic. He fits right in with the New York Knicks youth movement. Check out the Fizz Kids. Tim Hardaway, 26, and there's Cantor. He just opted into his contract, possibly has a future with the New York Knicks, 26. Trey Burke, 25. Damian Dotson, 24. Super Mario, 23. Isaiah Hicks, 23. Troy Williams, 23. Luke Cornett, 22. Moody, 22. KP, 22. Mitchell Robinson, 20. Frank Nilakina, 19. And the Knicks, 2018 first round draft pick. Kevin Knox, 18 years old. And there you have it, folks, the Fizz Kids. Look, the Knicks, as we've said time and time again, are in talent acquisition mode. Young talent, youthful talent, talent they can grow with, become a team with, build chemistry with. Super Mario fits right in. Two, the kid just might be ready to bust loose. In 30 games as a starter last year, Super Mario averaged 14 points per game, 5.6 rebounds, 2.2 assists, shot 46% from the field, and 37% from the three. Hopefully, this is a sign that he's ready to break loose, ready to have a breakout season, and the Knicks are getting right on the cusp. Three, the kid can shoot the rock. Again, 30 games as a starter in the NBA, 46% from the field, 37% from three. I've seen him come off screens. I've seen him move without the ball. I've seen him catch and shoot. The Knicks are gonna need guys that can score from different angles and different spots on the floor. He can do it. Now, it's a small sample size. 30 games as a starter, that's a small sample size. He's gotta sustain it. He's gotta do it for the long haul. But it's a beginning, it's a start, and it's promising. Four. He can initiate the fast break. If we're gonna play the up-tempo, positionless, fast, and aggressive style of basketball that Scott Perry, Steve Mills, and David Fisdale say we're gonna play, then you need guys from your point guard to your center that can initiate the fast break, initiate the offense. Super Mario, he can do it from the three spot. He can do it from the two spot. Maybe even do it from the four spot. And that's exactly what we need. Five, he can attack the basket. I don't care what kind of offense you play. It could be a half court set. It could be up tempo. You need guys that can attack the basket. When you attack the basket, you open up shooters. When you attack the basket, you create shots for yourself. Get yourself to the free throw line. When you attack the basket, you open up your big men under the basket. Mario may not be John Wall. He may not be Kyrie Irving, but he's crafty and he can get there. Big positive for the kid. Now I've given you five reasons I believe Mario Hezonia fits with the New York Knicks. One, his age. He's 23 years old. He can rock with the Fizz kids. He can roll with the youth movement. Two, started to come on at the end of last season. Just maybe the light switched on for him and he's on the cusp of something special. Three, he can shoot the rock. He can come off screens. He moves without the ball. He can spot up. Four, he can initiate the fast break. Super important if you're gonna be a team that plays up-tempo, aggressively moves the ball up the floor, and plays positionless. Five, he can attack the basket. He may not be Kyrie, he may not be John Wall, but he gets the job done and it's gonna help our offense move fluently. 
And he does other things well. He can rebound the ball. I've seen him get assists. Not afraid to bark at other players. He's a young kid that can be trained, developed, and taught to be aggressive. I'm not saying he's perfect, right? Uh, maybe he has some problems with his lateral movement on the defensive end of the ball. Hopefully, it can be worked on. Uh, he hasn't lived up to his number five draft pick so far. We'll see. But it's the best that the Knicks could do with where we are financially. We're taking a flyer on a young kid that has potential. He could end up being a mainstay, a piece of the puzzle. Join me every Sunday, every Tuesday, every Thursday on a live stream as we talk about the New York Knicks. Hit the subscribe button below. Ring the bell, you get a notification anytime that I go live. Pace, 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 pace.